I mean Google Classroom in lesson two. So you can begin here. Slide down, click on the lesson document. So I'm going to go straight into Riplet and my ripples. I've already created the project file for lesson two. It's right here. I want to just go into it. So once you get to this step, it means that you've completed task one. You click into your project file. And now what you're seeing here is the coding environment. So I'm going to just go over the setup here. So the first thing is if you click on your file name here, you'll get your project settings. For the most part, you're not going to need to mess with the project settings. But next thing is you have this run button. So once you have your lines of codes in this middle panel here, and you want to run your code, you will click on this button and it's going to run. So if I click it now, there's nothing there. So it's not going to run anything. There's no output. Then you have your invite button here. You already know how this works. So if I click on it, I've already generated my link. If you want to invite another student into your project to help you work through a problem, you can do that. You can invite me. When you invite them, you will actually see where in your code they are working. So if they highlight something, you'll be able to see that. You can communicate with them using this chat function here. And you'll see the threads up here from previous messages that have gone back and forth. The next thing is the toolbar. So here's your toolbar here. We're not going to talk much about that right now because it's not so important for what we are doing at this point in time. This is your file tree. We're not going to be using a file tree much now because we are just going to be learning basic concepts. This file tree is more important when you're combining different files and making more complex programs. Maybe you're designing a game, then this file tree is going to become important. But right now, our projects are just going to have a single file. But of course, if you become really interested in Python programming, and you want to move ahead and learn more complex things, you can go ahead and start your own project and do other things in there. You can even add components to your project files that go beyond what I'm asking you to do. And that would be really demonstrating higher level learning. And it could very likely result in you receiving even a higher grade than the lesson is evaluating. Next thing is the text editor. This middle panel here is the text editor panel. And it's basically where you're going to write your program. And anything you write in here is going to be saved automatically. You don't need to press save. There's no save button on here anyway. And that's one of the benefits of using this panel. Now, when you press run, the effects of the program, so the output, will show up on this black right panel here. And that's called your preview panel or your output panel. But you can also write a single line of code and see its effect in here. I'm going to demonstrate for you how these two panels work. Just above this output panel or the preview panel, you have the console and the shell. The shell we're not going to be using yet we're going to pretty much just stay on the console i'm going to create a program that says the word hello world and now you will notice that it is recognizing an error let me hit return and let me run this and you'll see it's going to give me an error why because i intended this to be a comment the computer does not understand what i'm trying to do there because it doesn't match the syntax of the python program language this is just a little note to myself and so if i want to put in a little note and not confuse the computer what i need to do is to put in a hashtag just in front if i run it's not going to give me an error but there won't be any output because this hashtag what it does is it just tells the computer that there is no code here this is just for me just a little note so let's go down to the second line and i'm going to say print parentheses and i want to print what we call a string a string can be a series of letters and numbers that don't actually have a mathematical value whenever you're trying to print a string you have to put it in quotes so i'm going to put it in quotes and i'll say hello world let's run it and see what happens okay there you go i'm going to make this a multi-line program i'm going to make my text equal to hello world okay i'm creating a new variable called text and i'm saying it's equal to hello world that means in that variable text the string hello world is stored let me run it and you will see it won't have any output okay no output because i didn't tell the computer print anything so let's make our third line now you'll notice that i didn't have to put in 
quotes around text because text is already defined as a variable. So the computer is going to recognize anything that's not in quote as a variable. And if you haven't defined that variable, it's going to give you an error. And so let's run this. There you go. So the same output for a multi-line code. Let me show you what will happen if I try to print some variable that I have not defined. Let's call this variable text2. So right away, it's recognizing it as an error. And so if I run it, I'll get an error. But what if now I come in and say text2 is equal to text1 plus open parentheses. I am happy today. Oh, this should just be text, not text1. There you go. So let's go over here to the output window and let's see what happens if I just say print text. It just does that. What if I put print text 2? It's going to give me an error, but let's see if you can figure out what the error is. And the error is that text 2 is not defined. Hmm, didn't I define text 2? Ah, my text 2 is lowercase. Here I'm using uppercase. So let's redo that. Print Excellent. So you see, I just tested what would happen if I change from a lowercase to an uppercase. Does it matter? And yes, indeed, it matters. So this is one way you can use the output panel just to test different ideas, test different theories before you implement it into your program in the middle panel there. Okay, that is all.